So just a reminder, uh, this is the front of the boat, that's the back of the boat. When we get outside of the harbor slip, there's going to be a little bounce to the boat because there's actually a lot of wind and a little bit of surf. That's a concoction that kicks up the ocean floor and a little bounce to the boat. So if you guys start to feel a little motion to the ocean, you're up. Uh, we're going to have fun today. We're going to head right outside of the harbor. Once again, that left hand turn. Again, you guys, you can stand up, move around, do you please. Definitely keep your guys' eyes open. More eyes can see more things. Mike and I will be looking like bobbleheads back here because we love finding the wildlife just like you also. We'll be looking for it. Um, good for us because if it was diamonds, that wouldn't be standing. <laughs> but actually, uh, we're going to be heading in between there. From here to uh, Diamond Head, in between there's that place called Turtle Canyon. So that's exactly where we're going to be heading to. I'm going to have a little more speed on the boat just because if there's more speed on the boat, there's less of a real big...
two of his legs on the bottom you'll notice his side is you see him? yeah that's sushi this is not if it's sushi part you will know that it's either a turtle or a couple so I see more turtle dog than anybody else does I was born and raised the way and when we fish off, we fish, we hunt, we dive, you know. The kids are more prone to pick this thing up than they are their nets or their fishing. So we are 90% dependent on imports. We were never that way. We were 100% self-sufficient. But well, give me, <laughs> I'll be okay. But my wife kind of likes the luxury of no totally different two facing. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I totally understand. But the Hawaiians and the way we used to live before, we can still do the same thing. It's just uh, a lot of the time our culture is being lost because it's not being taught to the younger generation. So I wanted to actually bring that up here. So we're actually looking at sleeping turtles that's on the bottom of the ocean floor. So 
I'll hang out over here just for a little while. See what we can see. And if you guys do see a turtle, definitely say something because more eyes can see more things, alright? And they're clearly brown, they're not green. Believe it or not guys, uh, that was on our menu for right now. Uh, I'm going to use the word lightly, I'll be a little facetious, but they call this progress. So, we're not able to do certain things like we used to do when we're growing up. Now there's an abundance of turtles. Abundance. So now I'm holding it, man. Like, you guys would have had some lunch today. <laughs> My, the thing that's different about us guys, like, my wife will tell me why I want to eat some fish, so we just go in our refrigerator to grow up. Are all looking on the bottom, and then a turtle pop up next to them. You see this reaction, so this back up real quick. I think it's the funniest thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, they're all good. Yeah, it's just the ones that's kind of like we'll go to the beach and go and sit on the turtles and take pictures and this, this, those. Yeah. Well, I've actually had a. Uh, the, uh, the old, uh, there's that structure. Looks like Leach's house thinks So, so that's a mandatory, but to the left of it, that's the uh, same kind of this, where the United States has the public where it's inside the public where it has CP3, which is the CP3, CP2. It's a Hawaiian hotel, that's protected. It goes right in the captivity on that sea of water. But Leach, that's the insurance company, needs to arrive in, is the Royal Hawaiian Hotel. That hotel was put up in 1927. That is not the oldest hotel on the island. There's four hotels over to the right. It's that small little short stack in the shape of a U. It's called the Moana Circle. It's that small little, yeah. yeah. If you, what's pretty neat about her is she was not only built in 1901, she had running water, electricity. Every floor had. Everybody know what I'm talking about? Put on high school, Gary? Uh, yeah, Barack Obama. He actually went to high school right here. He went to high school at Puno High School, and he could actually walk from his house to school. Yeah, right here in this valley. So guys, uh, we're kind of in a good spot to take the, the photo. If you guys do want that photo, Mike uh, already gave me the thumbs up. He'll be more than happy to be that photographer for you guys. So if you want to get that photo of Diamond Head, we'll do that now, and then I'll go head us out to some deeper, darker blue waters. It is a beautiful picture. I mean, definitely take advantage of it. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, uh, because once we do get outside of the barrier of diving in, it's not going to block us that much right now. We've caught more hats on this boat than we've ever seen. More hats on the boat than fish. So. <laughs>
Yeah, those smoothies are really good. Thank you. 